welcome back to another episode on the Maurus Films channel. Today we shall be really creative with the Autel Evo Nano Plus. I have been flying a lot with this powerful nano drone and I am here to bring you my top 5 favorite features and how to use them. So let's go straight and start with them. Once you got your drone in the air, you are ready to start. Make sure that you have a decent amount of satellite locked on. Search for an interesting surrounding around your area to make your shots stand out. My first favorite feature are the quick shots. And yes, there are 4 types. Flick, fade away, rocket and orbit. Let's go straight to the flick. The best way is to have an open 360 view around yourself, with no obstacles and at least around 30 to 50 meters. The drone automatically recognizes an object or person of interest, and the plus appears on you. Placing on the plus sign, you will be selected and ready to do the flick. Press the go recording icon and the flick will start. Once the flick is finished, the drone will return to the starting position. Quick and simple and ready to juice up your footage. When using the fade away option, make sure that you have a clear path for the drone to fade away from you. You will be able to select the distance to make the fade. Choose an interesting location to have an immersive fadeaway video. The rocket quickshot will allow you to have a top view of your place made automatically. It makes a really great, interesting perspective. And one of my favorite quickshots is the orbit mode. Make sure that you have a clear 360 pad for your drone, because the Autel Evo Nano Plus will rotate around you in a 360 pattern. You are also able to select left or right rotation. Once the drone has done the full 360 spin, it will come back where it has started. An amazing automatic experience to quickly nail your shots. My second favorite feature is the log color profile. You can choose it in the camera recording settings. You will be able to add more expressive unique look to your videos in post-production and get your unique desired look. And also you get a slightly improved dynamic range, so you'll be able to grade even more your footage. My third favorite feature is the panorama mode. You will be able to get different types of panorama pictures automatically stitched together by your Nano Plus. You will be able to select spherical for a 360 view, wide angle, landscape and portrait. My favorite mode is the portrait mode where you will be getting ready to post a story picture of your surroundings. I would recommend to get a little more higher altitude to get more of your surrounding in the shot, just like me in these examples that I took. If you want to have a 360 degree of view and post it on your 360 tour, this will be the best option, the sphere. My fourth favorite feature of the Autel Nano Evo Plus is the portrait mode. It will allow you to be tracked by the Nano Plus. The plus icon will appear on you, and after selecting it, you will be presented by three tracking options, close, medium and long. Use the one of your choice for a desired perspective. You will be able to have a third person view of yourself followed around. And yes, this could be your second person cameraman following you without having a person, just your drone. The fifth feature that I really like is the ludicrous mode. You will be able to achieve 13 meters a second speeds that will allow you to come back more quickly from a more distant location. 
get faster to your next filming spot and actually get faster back if you encounter an unexpected windy situation. It will help you outmaneuver and higher wind blow. Note that in this mode the obstacle sensors are disabled. Fly with caution and always with a line of sight. There you go, I hope that these 5 tips and how to use them will be really useful for your next flight with your Auto Evo Nano Plus and you will achieve really outstanding footage out of it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer to all of them. Until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon so you get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.